Hey, how's it going? This is Team Limited Slip. I'm the driver of the Scion TC. And today I want to talk about engine oil leaks, specifically engine oil leaks that come from the back of the block. So I had a vehicle come in for an engine oil leak concern and I put it on a lift, I checked it and this leak was coming from the back of the block and the leak led to the VVT oil controller solenoid. This solenoid is located on the top of the block on the passenger side. So anyways, um, these solenoids have an O-ring, which I thought was initially the problem. So I ordered a O-ring and replaced it. So it's pretty clear that the O-ring did not fix the problem. So pretty much this came, this oil is coming from the back of the solenoid. And um, I ordered, obviously the fix is a new solenoid. I ordered a new one. And well, look, this is a bit of how it looks like when it's actually like leaking. And you can see right there, even bubbles are forming in the back of it. I personally have never seen that before. So that's how I want to share it with everybody. And um, I'm, I'm also going to show you how to replace it. It's basically two tens. You're going to remove the 10 from the solenoid itself. And then there's um, the connector, unplug the connector. But to slide the solenoid out, there's another 10 that goes to a tiny bracket that holds that hose. Remove that 10 as well. Once you remove the bracket, you should be able to slide out the solenoid. So that's the old solenoid. That's a brand new O-ring and the O-ring that I took off was this one right here. It's pretty much like hardened. So that's why I suspected that it could have leaked, but surprisingly it did not leak. These solenoids are kind of expensive, so make sure you confirm the condition before replacing it. Start off with the O-ring and then confirm that the actual solenoid is leaking. For anybody interested, here's the part number to the OEM solenoid that I'm gonna use to replace the old one. Once again, I'm gonna advise that you stick to original parts or OEM. Um, I'm not going to go over how to install this because it's pretty much reverse order of how we took it off. What I can tell you though is that do not over tighten the tens because it doesn't take much to tighten them and they can break. Other than that, make sure that the connector is nice and clean. You do not want any debris or oil inside the connector. So in my case, I had some oil in the connector, so I decided to clean it up. I used a special um, electrical connector spray to clean it out and then I dried it up with some air. And then I made sure it clicked on. You don't want to lose connector either. So as an extra, I want to include other areas that can leak in this engine to help everybody better understand engine leaks on these two AZFE engines. Hopefully by knowing these common areas that can leak, can, this can help you better diagnose your engine oil leaks. So wait, let's start off from the valve cover. So the valve cover is on top of the engine and this valve cover has a gasket that not only goes around the valve cover, but also goes around the spark plug holes. So that can leak. And also on the valve cover, you got the oil cap. The oil cap also has a gasket that can harden and eventually leak. Let's move on to the timing cover. The timing cover does not use a gasket. It actually uses FIPG or silicone. And that goes all around the timing cover. That can leak. And also located on the timing cover is the crankshaft seal. Those seals eventually can leak and you'll find the leak behind the behind the harmonic balancer or or also known as the crank pulley that's located in the front of the timing cover. So let's move on to a very common thing that leaks on these engines and that's a timing chain tensioner. It is very common and when these tensioners leak, they get it, the timing cover gets mistaken for a leak because this timing chain tensioner is literally on the side of the timing cover on the top. So when these leak, it looks like it's a timing cover leak, but it's actually the tensioner. So it's a pretty easy fix. Just change the gasket. Also located in the back of the block next to the timing cover is a bolt that has an oil strainer in front of it. That bolt has a gasket. So for, for whatever reason you remove that bolt, make sure you replace the gasket and it could also potentially leak. Not very common, but just something to be aware of. Uh, at the bottom of the timing cover, we got the oil pan. So the oil pan uses FIPG or silicone gasket maker. And this uh, FIPG goes all around the oil pan. So it can leak from any of those areas. And lastly, the oil pan has the drain bolt and that bolt has a gasket. Do not over tighten the bolt. You can strip the threads and rip the gasket. Next to the oil pan, you have the oil filter. 
These oil filters sometimes have a gasket that can get stuck to the top. So if you basically leave that gasket on top and then put a new filter, you're going to double gasket that area and that's going to leak for sure. So make sure that you make sure that the area is clean and there's no gasket stuck to the top because if it has two gaskets, it's for sure going to leak. The last thing I want to mention, because I'm trying to keep this video brief, is the rear main seal. It's a seal that's behind or basically a seal that's in between the transmission and the back of the block. And you'll notice that when these seals fail, there'll be oil between the transmission and the engine block. And this is the, probably the hardest seal to change because you have to bring the transmission down. But if you ever do a transmission or a clutch, I recommend replacing it since you're already gonna be in that area. So I hope this helps everybody out who has a first generation Scion TC or has a vehicle that has a 2AZ FE engine. Please don't forget to support the channel by subscribing. It really does help. And I'll keep posting out more how to do videos, repair videos, and tips. Thanks for watching and have a great day.